today's video, we're going to be making an abstract painting using copper leaf. As an abstract artist, I am constantly collecting all kinds of things to use in my abstract work. I have a ton of different textures, a ton of different materials to use. A while back, I had ordered copper leaf, silver leaf, and gold leaf to be using in my abstract paintings. I only made a few different paintings with them, but I did this project here in preparation for this video. So this particular project you're looking at here, I didn't get any film of me actually making it. It was just sort of a whimsical thing that I did. It really looks like uh, an overhead shot of some sort of terrain or something like that. But you can see here, I used the copper very sparingly in this painting. And then I built up different textures around where I had placed the copper leaf on this particular painting. In an effort to find a different color palette to do in this video, I did actually try this other small painting here. It's coming out pretty good so far. I think I still wanna do some other touches on it and add some more depth and color to it, but I really like where it's at right now. Very oftentimes when I'm experimenting and I'm trying new things, I do like to work in small paintings just to kind of build up my confidence and get those quick wins under the belt. That's pretty much how I learn most skills along the way. I start with something small and then I work my way up until I build up enough confidence to do a large abstract painting or a large painting of whatever it is that I'm trying to do. Let's get into it.
There's a couple of things to be aware of if you're going to be working with copper leaf or gold leaf or silver leaf, any of the leafing type of materials. If you're gonna be using those in your abstract paintings, you're gonna to wanna to know what some of these things. So first off, it's very thin. So as a result of it being so thin, it sticks to the oil on your fingertips. So that's one thing to be aware of is if you pinch it too hard, it gets stuck on your finger like this. The other thing to know is the way I do it or the way you saw me doing it is I've tried applying it with just wet paint. So that's one way to go about applying it to your canvas. I also have been working recently with a lot of different types of texture paste as well. At first I was applying the uh, leaf to the material using wet paint and then building up textures around it. One technique I'm finding that actually works a lot better is actually use the texture paste as what you're sticking the leaf to. So if you actually are, if you're, if you're planning on using texture paste, then just go ahead and put your textures on the canvas and then come in with your leaf and stick it directly to the texture paste. And if you're careful about how you do it, you can get all of your entire piece of leaf to stick. Generally, when I do it to paint, it looks broken up, kind of like what you see here in the painting we did today, simply because not all of the leaf is sticking to the entire canvas. Pieces of it are, are getting lifted off the paint and those are the pieces that get brushed off later when I come in with the stiff bristle brush and I brush them away. Those are just some basic things to be aware of if you're gonna try and make an abstract painting using copper leaf or any other type of leafing material. If you're interested in exploring and learning any other abstract painting techniques, check out my abstract painting playlist right here. Or if you wanna learn some acrylic pouring techniques, check out this playlist right here.